Hey. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> you just want food and play, huh? Yep. Hello. Good morning. How is everybody doing today? I thought that today we could vlog. Take you along for the ride that is a typical day in my life. Being a mid-sized content creator who does social media full-time with no team. Oh my god, I look tired. I look tired. I need coffee. I don't know. I thought it could be interesting. thought it could be fun. Maybe it's been absolutely eating you alive inside to know what I do on an average day. <laughs> and first things first is always coffee. I have to pour this down here because the cord's not very long. <laughs> Hi! Uh-huh. And we also deal with this every morning, all morning. Until she gets her attention. Hmm? Right? her favorite toy in the whole world. This is it for her, the one and only. Other than, actually that's not true, this toy and then this old twist tie. <laughs> these are, these are Books' rider dies. I have actual cat toys for her. She only wants this ratty piece of garbage. Come on, let's show people, let's show people. She also likes to play on the couch because it gives her like some grip. So we just jump up and down and up and down. <laughs> Every morning. Boogs is very, uh, <laughs> play motivated. I got hot. Hey Google. Good morning. Hello, Elena. Have a nice day. Here's the latest news. From CBC News. From CBC News, the world this hour. I'm Blake Prendergast. Including the level of vaccination progress in the country and its track record in facilities. Hot! Premier Doug Ford said this budget though will be about economic recovery. We will turn this economy on the lakes of which this province has never seen before. All right, coffee's ready. News is listened to, Boogs is played with and fed. This is a pretty typical day-to-day -day morning start for me. I get up, I always have a big cup of water before I have any coffee, don't you worry. But today, my God, I am sleepy this morning and that's too bad because I have a big day ahead of me. I could not sleep last night. I couldn't fall asleep and then when I finally did fall asleep, I kept waking up and then not being able to fall back asleep. Anxiety, gotta love it. I have something really big happening very soon. And I am so anxious about it. <laughs> you will find out about that next week, I think. If I make it, <laughs> if I survive. Actually, if you follow me on Instagram, you probably already know. Follow me on Instagram, at Miss Fender. It's where the magic happens. But it's a big, I have a big thing. It's a big thing happening, a big thing that I'm doing. And um, it's, I'm having trouble sleeping. <laughs> That's okay, that's all right. One of the beauties of working from home for me, I don't mind if I don't sleep well because I don't have to be anywhere, which like somehow helps. I've worked from home now for like five years doing this, doing YouTube, doing social media. And this is the environment that I thrive in, an environment where I'm completely by myself and nobody tells me what to do but me. <laughs> I love working from home. I love being my own boss. I love managing my own time. It might be surprising to some of you because the stereotype is that creative people or people who do creative things for a living, that they're disorganized or like, I don't know, bad with money or just like all of the, it's like the life things 
stereotypically are like expected to go out the window, right? Because we're creatives. We just want to do our work. Don't disturb me. I'm making art. <laughs> I'm not like that. I like a schedule. I like bullet journaling and organizing my finances. I like the business side of things a lot. And so, <laughs> what I'm trying to say is that it's not a big deal that I didn't sleep well, um, even though today is a big day. I have a couple of interviews this afternoon, and before those, I gotta get some emails done. That's a day in the life of a self-employed person, YouTuber or not, emails, emails, emails. I swear to God, I spend half my life doing emails. Can't forget the coffee. So this is where I sit. This is where I spend the majority of my life. <laughs> I try to do emails, finances, planning, like first thing in the morning and then leave it for the rest of the day. So I'm like batching the work that I have to do. I'm actually in the beginning stages, like the still trying to kind of wrap my head around it stages of hiring an assistant. Because like I just said, half my life has been doing emails. I think that people see me making like a video a week not even, and thinks to themselves like, what does she do all day? You just have to make one video. It's not that hard. What you don't see is all this behind the scenes stuff. Like making a video takes me four days. It takes me a day to film and then like three days to edit. Cause I don't have an editor. I don't have an assistant. I don't have a manager. I don't have any of those things. And that's not to mention running my merch, running my Patreon, all of the perks and things that I do over there. And then other social media like Instagram. And then all of these <laughs> emails and like brand deals and negotiating contracts. I love all of it. But I am at a point where I think it would be helpful to have somebody help me I think it'd be helpful to have somebody help me. <laughs> I've put together a job posting, but I don't know. I'm scared to post it. Okay, that's it for now. I'm gonna take a chunk out of this inbox and I'll see you in a bit. Hello, okay, emails are done and I've done a little something something. Tried to fix my hair, but it's just, it's out of control. <laughs> and I have a bit of extra time before my first interview. I have about an hour, so I'm gonna head back to my desk and work on the current Skillshare class that I'm taking. And so I thought, what better time than now to tell you about the sponsor of this video? Adam and Eve, <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> it's Skillshare. <laughs> For any of you who don't know, Skillshare is an online learning community. They have thousands of classes available for creative and curious types. They have creative classes on things like writing, drawing, illustrating, design, all of that. But they also have very practical business-centered classes as well. And initially I was gonna share a class with you all about embroidery on photographs because I think it's just such a beautiful hobby. But the class that I'm taking right now on creating your dream career seems much more fitting for this video. <laughs> so we're gonna go with that. The class is by Holly Coley Murchison and it takes you through the process of creating what your dream career would look like for you and then coming up with an action plan to actually make that happen, which is exactly where I'm at in my career right now. So I'm trying to figure out what's next. What's the next move? What do I want? And this class has been extremely helpful in my answering of those questions. A Skillshare premium membership is less than 10 bucks a month when you sign up annually. And if you're someone who's looking to start your own business or start your own side hustle, I really recommend you check it out. Click that link in my description. The first thousand people that click that link get a free trial of a premium Skillshare membership. So that's free access to all of their classes. I can't recommend Skillshare enough, so click that link in my description to check it out for yourself. Okay, it is time to put away this class for now and get ready for my first interview of the day, but this is inspiring. Holly, you're doing good work. <laughs> when I do classes and like planning and brainstorming and things, I like to do it just on like a junky kind of notepad and then I will transfer it into the bullet journal once it's more organized. <laughs> but we've got five minutes until this first interview starts. Get myself ready to go here. 
This is one thing that I've been trying to do more of this year is like podcast interviews and different styles of collaboration. It's something that used to make me really anxious. It still makes me a bit nervous. I get all butterfly-y before I sign on to any of these, but I'm just trying to say yes to more things, especially in COVID times when we can't go anywhere and like go to events and things like that. I'm really putting energy into connecting with folks virtually. And podcast interviews is uh, one of the ways I do that. Okay, let's sign on. Hi, can you see me? So for lunch today, I went with some leftovers. Is this even gonna look appetizing on the camera? Probably not. <laughs> I made myself uh, like open-faced BLT, obviously vegan, with some leftover like faker bacon that I had and some leftover shredded hash browns. This is one of my favorite meals because I love, I was gonna say hash browns, but really I potatoes, like potatoes in any form. And BLTs, like who doesn't love a bacon lettuce tomato sandwich? Mmm, 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 mmm. I'm gonna eat this. I'm gonna take my vitamins. I'll do that right now before I forget. Very important kids, take your vitamins. <laughs> and I'm gonna watch some 90 day fiance because you guys know trash reality TV is my life and my current trash of choice is 90 day fiance. <laughs> oh, I look forward to this part of my day every day. Lunch, trash TV, heaven. I have now made myself a fresh cup of coffee and that means my sleeves rolled. <laughs> Very important question. Cuffed sleep check. And that means I'm ready for my next interview. Wish me luck and I'll check back in after. Hello, my word, it is now quarter to three and we have finished the second interview. That is my last timed thing for today. I, um, I did want to go climbing today um, and usually I do go climbing on Wednesdays, but with COVID at my climbing gym, you have to book slots to go and all the slots are full. So I had wanted to take you climbing with me today, but I don't think that's gonna happen. I am going tomorrow with my friend Savannah. She's one of my bubble people here in Vancouver. So maybe I will take you along then. And if so, I'll insert it here. This is usually when I give her some treats, so she's getting all antsy. Wow. Yeah, come. If you come up here, then I'll give you those treats. I'll show everyone how nutso you are about them. Yeah, I, so, hello. It's evening time now. <laughs> oh, when did I last talk to you? After my last interview? After my last interview, I had a nap because I really didn't sleep last night, like at all. Also, just will rarely say no to a nap, even if by nap, I mean just like lying down and closing my eyes for a little bit. But me and Boogs had a great little nap and then I went for a nice long walk because it stopped raining, finally, for a couple hours. <laughs> and then I came back, I did some more work on that Skillshare class, just finished having some dinner, and now here we are. Can you see, oh my word, you can see what I'm watching. <laughs> 90 day fiance, baby. And also all my dishes from cooking dinner. Oh, the background's a mess in this shot. <laughs> that class, like I know that this video is sponsored by Skillshare, but like the ad aside, that class has me so hyped up because the part that I'm at, Holly has us writing out all of the things that we want for our future and like taking our, our patterns from the past, our skills, our weaknesses, our strengths, taking all of that and putting it together to be like, what do you want this next year to look like? And usually every year I sit down and I do like a dreamlining goal setting activity for the year. Last year, I did not uh, because last year, I was in a rough mental space at the beginning of the year, which is when I usually would do this. And then my whole life fell apart, turned upside down. Now this is a story all about how. <laughs> And so all of last year, I'm sure so many of us have this same experience. I didn't plan and I didn't goal set. I just kind of survived. <laughs> and now feeling like I'm really coming to a better place. <laughs> she just really wants her treats. Um, I'll, I'll show you in a minute. So it feels really good and really exciting to be coming out the other side of that and to sit down and think about boobs. And think about 
what I want for this next year and what that could look like. There are some big things that are happening. There are some big things that I want and there's a lot that I want to explore and accomplish and now that I have some of it written down, it feels possible. So, thanks Skillshare. <laughs> and I'm really excited for you all to be along with me, whatever is about to happen. I don't know what my life is gonna look like over the next year 100%, but I know what I want and I have proven to myself that I'll be okay. If this last year has taught me anything, it's that no plan, is safe. <laughs> Nothing is guaranteed and so all I can do is shoot for the stars. So that's what I'm gonna do. That's what I'm gonna do until I crash and burn. <laughs> no, not really. I have crashed and I have burned and now I'm rising from the ashes like a phoenix, baby. I don't know what the message is here. I don't know what's gonna happen. Honestly, I don't really know what I'm doing. <laughs> but I'm happy. I'm pretty damn happy. Boogs is over there chewing on her toy that she chews on when she's trying to tell me it's time to feed her. I see you, I do. Hi, me again, just popping in from the past. Remember earlier in the video when I was sitting here? I'm back. <laughs> I just wanted to say another huge thank you to Skillshare for sponsoring this video. Make sure that you click that link in my description. The first thousand people that click it get a free trial of a premium Skillshare membership. I love Skillshare and I know that you will too. And also a huge thank you to my VIP patrons, my vitally important producers. For any of you who don't know, every month a bonus video goes up over my Patreon with um, bloopers and outtakes from these regular videos. We have a Discord, we have monthly hangouts. There's all sorts of fun stuff over there, as well as some exclusive Patreon-only merchandise coming soon. And that's all for me. I'm gonna watch some more trash reality TV. I'm going to read my book, and then I'm gonna go to sleep and wake up in the morning and do it all over again. No, tomorrow's an editing day. Because today was a filming day, tomorrow's an editing day. It's the workflow. We're in it. We're vibing. I, this is why I don't vlog, because I can't shut up. I love you very much. Thank you for watching. <laughs> I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Oh my God, I completely forgot that I told you I would show you Boogs getting her treats. They are these, oh, she's gonna lose her mind. They're these like little tube treats. Yeah, she like goes berserk over them. Hi. Yeah, you know what this is. Yes, <laughs> one second. I know. Look at this. She loses her mind over this thing. Oh, ew, there, on the ground. She's standing up on her hind legs. <laughs> yep, yep, here, yep. Don't worry, we're getting more. I just want them to see your crazy face. Like her pupils go all dilated. Like, can you see your eyes? I don't know if you can see. Yum, yum. Hey, don't chew it. She always gets to a point in her, out of her mindness that she starts like trying to eat the plastic. Stop it. What are they putting these things? Yep, yeah, you can chew that bit. You can chew the end bits out. I don't want to touch it. That's nasty. Okay, that's enough. You did good. There's a little bit more on the ground there. Yum! She's out of her mind. Look at her eyes. <laughs> okay, that's it for me. I love you guys. I'll see you in the next one.